Now we've already talked about some organometallic reagents uh, as a source of a carbon nucleophile, but let's just bring that back into our memory here. So a couple of these reagents are like the butyl lithium, which is pretty commonly used. And remember, we can kind of look at this as a, this is quite a nucleophilic carbon right here. So we've got the lithium there. Uh, another very commonly used organometallic reagent is the Grignard. So we'll just use the phenyl magnesium bromide. And again, we can kind of think of this reagent as put the negative charge there, right like that. Oh, plus charge on the magnesium. Now, these will act as a base in a protic environment. So if we add water to these, we won't get the desired reaction. We'll just uh, we'll just nab a proton off of the water, protonate this, and make benzene, or protonate this and make um, butane. And so we need to watch out for that when we're handling these reagents. And also, uh, in butyl lithium is pyrophoric. So if it has a chance, it's exposed to air, it tends to catch on fire. And of course, butane uh, is in your little cigarette lighters typically. And, and so you'll end up with a situation on your hands. And when it's reacting with water in the air or anywhere, this type of reaction is quite exothermic, so it can just start on fire like that. I guess the point here is just make sure we're not using protic solvents when we're trying to uh, use these organometallic reagents. This it really is a terrible scenario just adding water to these reagents. You will very, very quickly destroy them. Now, these are quite useful though, because they will attack uh, ketones and aldehydes and some of these other reagents. So let's just look at one of those reactions. Or actually, we'll look at a couple. So we've got cyclohexanone, and we'll just go ahead and attack this with an organolithium reagent. I'm gonna use ethyl lithium. And we'll have to do this in one step here. We'll use diethyl ether, which is typically the reagents that you'd want to use with uh, these organometallics. Is usually um, some kind of ether. And we're going to run this reaction in a cold temperature because this is a very aggressive uh, reagent here. The, the lithium is powerful stuff. And after we do that reaction, we'll need a little acid workup. Just to get the proton on the oxygen. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do all there. I'm sure we've all done that. All right, so here we've got our um, substituted alcohol on the uh, cyclohexane, not the benzene ring. So we've got the alcohol here and we've added our organolithium or our ethyl group on. All right, let's look at another reaction that we could do. This time with a nitrile. We can 
change this up to the Grignard reagent. Now, this would work with the Grignard reagent as well. Um, so that you really get your choice. And I would say that if you can use the Grignard, they're a little easier to work with. They don't catch on fire when they're exposed to air. Um, it's just a little bit safer. They're also pretty easy to manufacture. Um, you just need really dry conditions and you just need the, um, the corresponding bromine and uh, magnesium metal. And that is a typical laboratory that is done in um, organic chemistry. And we're going to do that as well. So you'll see a video based on how to do that coming up in a few weeks, actually. So in this case, we're going to have the nucleophile come in, attack the carbon on the nitrile. One of the electrons goes up here, and then we're uh, going to use the methanol here to go ahead and add that proton on there. Now, we could stop right here or if we want to, we could hydrolyze the nitrogen and convert it into a ketone. Using some acid. So if we want the ketone, that's a way to end up with one, right? And we can also choose whatever we want for the R group on this side. Now, within reason, right? We, we have to be mindful of not including any kind of alcohols or other groups on here that the Grignard reagent would react with or the organolithium. So uh, in terms of a mechanism, I'll just draw a very quick one here we'll have our carbon nucleophile come over, moves up the electrons like that. We're left with a negative charge up here on the oxygen. So there's a negative charge. And then when we protonate it with the acid workup, makes the corresponding alcohol. Just like that. So that's a little bit about the organometallic reagents. There are more and we'll discuss some of those later on in this series.